Hi everyone, this is Sharon Fincham from the Dallas Fincham team. Today you're going to get to know me. Either Criminal Minds or Law and & Order. I always like TV shows that are like that so I can think outside the box and try to figure out who killed who or who did what. I always like thinking outside the box to try to figure things out. I do have a very soft side and I even cry on commercials so my family will turn at their head and look at me and say oh my gosh she's crying again at a commercial i do have a soft side i would describe my team as being my family they are my all each and every one of them has my back and they would do anything for me they are my life and i love them all dearly I would say that I would travel to the future and I would do that because you never know when you are going to pass away. And I would love to see my three children with their spouses, with their own children and being very happy. So that would warm my heart. So I would love to see that before I pass away. Well, to you, it's probably not crazy, but to me, it really is. So I was in a hot air balloon and that was huge for me because I am afraid of heights. Unless I am bolted down, I have a hard time looking down. So I would say being in a hot air balloon is the craziest thing that I've done. Uh, that's been pretty scary for me. I would probably say neither, to be honest with you. I don't like this city because it's such a fast pace and I don't know it's just too busy for me the woods it's too quiet for me so I really wouldn't like either but if I had to choose one I would probably say the woods because after a day of real estate it's just nice to be able to have some peace and quiet I would say it is family so when you are part of a team and you love your team and your culture is amazing, it warms your heart. It just feels like you are at home with your family. And I'm with these people, it seems like 24 seven. It is awesome. And that's what being a part of the team means to me is family. I would say that I am most grateful for my three beautiful children and who they are becoming. Uh, Rich, because he is my rock. He is always there for me through the ups and downs. He keeps me in line and he's just amazing. And to my mother that is always there for me whenever I need a chit chat. That something would be going on a vacation and leaving my phone in my hotel room or in the trunk of my car just for a day. I'm not asking for a whole week, I think just for a day. And I don't know if I can do that. Um, I think I might have a heart attack if I did try that, but that's something I would like to accomplish this year. Just taking one day off and relaxing and not doing a thing. I chose to be a real estate agent because I thought that I could sell one house a month, make some money and be able to stay home and raise my ch three children, which of course that's not the case. That's not how real estate works, uh, but I do love real estate, so I wouldn't change it for the world. But just so you know, it's not easy just to sell one house a month and stay home and raise your kids. I would say I would like to be a master of one, and my master of one would definitely be real estate. I love to know the ins and outs of the sales agreement. I'm always trying to better myself for real estate and bring all that back to my team. That's why we do a lot of coaching and seminars. I just wanna know real estate like the back of my hand. I would say that I would love to have dinner with Shamar Moore. He is an actor on Criminal Minds, um, Young and the Restless, SWAT, 
I just think he is good looking, very strong, and I would be ecstatic to have dinner with him. I would say each and every one of my teammates inspire me for different reasons. They are always pushing me to be a better me and I do the same thing with them. So I'm always learning new things so I can help them grow their business and for them to succeed and be the best that they can be. Home to me means a place for gathering of with friends and family. It is a warm place that you can invite your friends and you can laugh and have a great time and there's no judgment and you just have so much fun. That's what home means to me. My dream car was what we call in Canada, a Toyota Celica, what you guys call here in the States, a Toyota Celica. So I bought, when I was young, a Toyota Celica with the pop-up headlights and it was white and very sexy, black interior, I loved it. I would say giving, outgoing, and a badass. My worst fear is drowning. So when I was young, I took swimming lessons for basically most of my youth getting up to high school and then I taught swimming lessons and I was a lifeguard because I was always afraid of the water and I wanted to make sure that I never drowned. So when I was young, I always thought it'd be fun to be a detective. I always loved thinking outside the box, trying to figure out who did what, who killed who, and how they did it. So that's what I wanted to be when I grew up was a detective. I did try to see if I could become a police officer. And at that time, I could not because I wore contacts, I wore glasses. I did not have 20-20 vision. So at that time, you were not allowed to wear contacts just in case a contact fell out and you shot the wrong person. But that was many, many years ago. I know things have changed and they have LASIK and they have all that kind of stuff. But back then, years and years ago, uh, I could not become a police officer to then become the detective that I wanted to be. So my dreams were crushed. But it's all good because I've done many different careers, but uh, I love to be a detective if I ever had the chance.